Hello everyone, it is Joe here from Omnipoke, the channel that brings you guys everything Pokemon. And today I have my Ancient Origins booster box. You can probably see in the background I've already opened one box already. I did try and record it, but it died in the first like 10 minutes and I was already like 7 boosters in. So I may as well just give you a quick recap of box number 1. Uh, pretty good pulls. I will just mention, if you can see it, I'll try and highlight it. All of the regular hollows that I got are really off-center. The left side border is much thicker than the right side border. You can't see it too much with the Gudra, but you can definitely tell with these other ones that I got. Look at this Verizian. There's barely any uh, yellow border on the right side of this card. Don't know if this happened to any of you guys. That Volcarone is not too bad. Um, the Entei as well. It's just ridiculous. These cards should not be that... Um, off center and as you can see the border where my thumb is is so much thicker than the other side and it's really a shame to see and as well the Gyarados it's a real shame because if you were someone collecting this set or looking to grade these cards even it would really be an upset if you spent that much money on packs and all of your regular hollows um, were off center like that as far as I could tell there weren't any other cards off center but the hollows are pretty much a very important part of collectors um, sort of repertoire and what they look for so it's a real shame to see those were off center still good cards though and then for EX's this is probably what you're looking for in terms of pull rates we ended up getting six things total uh, and two of them were full art so we got a Kiram EX a Giratina a Hooper one Mega Sceptile which is fantastic then we got a full art Tyranitar EX and also a full art gold Mega Rayquaza EX um, I'm told these are not the same rarity as secret rares, um, so I believe they're pretty much as rare as getting any other full art, so uh, you can expect to see quite a few of these gold cards, not as rare as secrets, so bear that in mind when you're looking to complete your collection. So um, that's a quick recap of box number one, let's crack into box number two and hopefully there's no more disruptions. Um, I try and open boxes fairly quickly uh, so that you guys can see um, the glamorous holographics. Um, as quickly as possible and you can skip past the rares we all know what's in the set really um, so if you're looking for a more methodical sort of um, box opening where uh, you see every single card in detail this isn't really the video for you but like I say if you want to skip for all the packs see all the goodies uh, as quickly as possible uh, stick around we're gonna have fun with this box here uh, while I just arrange these packs let's um, show off the artworks we've got Titar, Groudon, Rayquaza and Hooper as well so let's start with this half and crack on through the box from there. Um, it's a fairly small set, only 98 cards I believe it is, so um, if you're looking to collect this set it should be a piece of cake. Um, so that's a good thing to bear in mind. Our first reverse is a Quagsire and then we have a Gudra Hollow starting us off which is pretty cool. Um, I will be sleeving Hollows and reverse um, rares and of course EXs. So. Um, it's probably a good idea for you guys to do that. I see a lot of people not sleeving and it really does grind my gears. Uh, try and keep stuff in good condition. It just helps out if you're keeping them for yourself or even trading them or selling them. Everyone likes them in good condition. Also a thing to note if you're opening these on video, uh, they've actually flipped around the way they package the code card. It used to be um, the other way around. So you'd open the pack and it would be here. Now it faces uh, adjacent to the cards. So if you're opening packs, don't start spinning over the packet because you'll reveal the codes. Um, unless you want to, of course. Um, so there's a Reverse Metagross and a Regice. Um, little tip for you guys there. I will be actually giving away a couple of codes in this video. Um, so bear that in mind and stay alert. It could happen at any time. Uh, basically, whenever I feel like it, I'll just give you guys a free code. I believe PTC Geo is currently down and I think they're going to be updating it soon. So by the time I update, uh, upload this video, uh, we should get something. Um, so it looks like we've got our first glamorous card. Unfortunately, it's one I already have. And unfortunately, it's not a very playable card. That's our second Kiram EX overall. Um, I guess I'll put the EXs that I pull at the back uh, to keep us updated on what we got, really. Um, but already nailing through these packs. First EX pull pretty early into the box. so And here we go, guys. The first code to be revealed. And I hope you guys can all read that. And let's keep cracking on. So that's for the viewers, not for me. Um, 
Uh, level will reverse, there's a Gyarados, and it looks like this box doesn't have that horrible miscut that my first box did. Um, it's still fairly miscut, this time it's actually to the other side, so it's thin on the bottom and on the left side, and thicker on the right, so um, clearly their printing presses were not set correctly, or whatever, whatever it is that they do um, to get their borders in check. They didn't do it very well this set, it looks like, or at least in the boxes that I've got my hands on. Which is a bit of a shame. Um, we have a Regirock, which I believe is a rare, and a Vileplume rare. Um, like I say, it's a small set. Um, I believe I got like three Vileplumes in my first box, and like I got multiples of uh, rares and stuff. So uh, it's definitely a good set to pick up if you want to start collecting, and you'll get good amounts of cards. Uh, so you'll have like near enough play sets of a lot of things quite easily. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And we have a reverse battle toy and a Entei. Also, there are some very playable uh, commons and uncommons in this set. The Vespiquen is the first, um, probably most playable card. So, again, good time for newer players to get involved. There's a Porygon Z. Um, because there's some nice stuff there that you can get from these packs. Looks like we've got something shiny again. Um, and I think that is... Yes, it is a Giratina EX. So that's my second one of those as well. So double doubles so far. Um, I'm actually very happy picking up this Giratina. I think it's a very playable card. Uh, definitely in the top 10 cards of the set, I would say. Uh, which ironically is a video that will be coming out soon. Uh, we've got it prepared, we just haven't filmed it yet. Um, so Giratina, definitely a good card to pick up there. Very happy with that. And so far, those were the first two EXs that I pulled in my um, first box. Uh, so maybe we'll get <laughs> identical pulls, which would be quite funny. I wouldn't mind getting another Hooper. Other pieces of the Sceptile line would be good as well. And a Lugia would be good to pick up, I think. Uh, there's another Vileplume. Like I was saying, you can get multiples of rares quite early on in this box. Because the set is so small. And I actually love having small sets. It just makes it so much easier to complete. And so much easier to get play sets of everything. Uh, there's a Holographic Verizian. It's pretty cool artwork. I don't know what's in the background. If they're wing goals or something. Um, you might have to further inspect that. If you guys can see it, um, whatever those birds are in the background, maybe a combination of different Pokemon. Um, so that's pretty cool. And we're almost halfway through the box already, only eight minutes in. As you can see, I'm cracking through these as quickly as possible uh, to get to the goodies for you guys to stay entertained. There's a Volcarona. There's the Forest of Giant Plants. Some people are getting very hyped about that new stadium. For good reason as well. It is broken vine space, as we all know it. Uh, there's a Curlia and a Metagross rare. There's that level ball reprint as well. Another good card to see come back into the game. And here we have Reverse Lysander, another reprint for us, and a Regice. Regice, I think, is a very underrated card. Um, it has the same attack as Hippowdon, uh, but on a basic, so um, probably easier to set up than a Hippowdon. And Hippowdon made it to top 8 US Nat, so it's got something good going for it. So that attack is probably a bit of a sleeper at the moment, but I think some people are going to start latching onto that. Next up looks like an EX and a Full Art as well. Oh, sweet. That is so cool. Uh, that is my third Giratina, so it looks like I know what I'm playing next format. This is absolutely beautiful. That is an absolutely cracking pull. I am chuffed to bits with that one. Good chill by your buddy right there. That is brilliant. Fantastic, fantastic pull. Uh, to finish off our first half of the box, let's get the other packs out. So, as you can see, the first half had three EXs and one Full Art, so... Um, it looks like it will keep to the trend of having a total of six EXs and a total of two full arts, which is good. I like the consistency. 
um, keeping it all the same because we just know what we're buying really we know what we're getting ourselves into when we spend the money for these sorts of packs I know in the past some boxes have been sort of like only getting one or two EXs some box get like four or five so it's good that they have at least sorted that out there's a reverse gollet and a claydol Next up looks like another EX. I think it's a half art EX. We have a Combi and a Mega Sceptile. That's my second one of those. Fantastic as well. Um, Jack has already profiled this video, uh, this deck, if you want to check it out. And now we have the two Sceptiles that we need, which is fantastic. Um, I think he already has one anyway, but um, that's good. That's a good, good card to pick up. Sceptile is also another one of these. It's going to be pretty playable next format. There's an Entei Rare. Next up we have an Entei, that's my second Entei, it still looks off centre to me which is a real shame. Um, these cards should not be off centre, it's really, really irritating as a, as a collector as well as a player. Um, seeing off centre cards really does get on my nerves. But Entei's a good card, and I'm happy to have picked him up. Looks like we've got something else glamorous in this pack. It looks golden, maybe? No, not golden, just the rings of Hooper throwing me off track. So that's my second Hooper as well. That is fantastic. Uh, so two Hooper, so that pretty much sets me up for almost every deck. I think maybe Rayquaza can play three. Um, but for most things, two Hooper is enough. So I'm pretty chuffed with these pulls so far out of these two boxes. Uh, I've got enough Giratina to play Giratina. I've got enough Hooper to play pretty much every Mega deck. Um, not much else so far, though. We've got um, a Vespiquen and a Gyarados reverse. Need to start getting some Tyranitar and Sceptile pieces and some Lugias. That would be fantastic. Still a few packs to go. And there's a Whimsicott and a Golurk. So I think we're owed one full art, which is pretty cool. Hopefully we will be able to pull that fairly soon. Um, sorry about the glare, guys. Um, there's the paint roller and a clay doll. So comment down below what's your favourite card of the set and what is the favourite card you would like to pull uh, from a booster box if you were going to open one. Or maybe you have opened one and what was the best pull you got. There's Reverse Gyarados, that's definitely a good one. I think it's a very cool looking card, if not the most playable. There's a Volcarona as well. And here is something shiny, I think it's full art as well. There is a reverse Rotom, and we have a full art Machamp EX. That is cool looking. <laughs> that is absolute eye candy right there. The Champ EX. Let's get some focus going, camera, please. Please focus. That is an awesome looking card. Very cool. Not very playable, but like I said, I'm a collector as well as a player. So that Machamp will be received with open arms. So if we're following the same rules as my last box, I think we're all done for EXs. But let's see if we can um, break the trend and make it seven. Maybe even a gold card. That would be absolutely awesome. Who knows what we can get out of these next packs. We have an Inke and a Gardevoir holographic. Um, this Gardevoir, I think it's cool artwork, but the, the playability of this card is just awful. I think the set before was when they released that Freshwater set. And they just slap the ability on a stage two. Um, I think that's just pretty lazy of them, really. <laughs> I think they knew that card was never going to see play. And they still made it. I guess they do that, but still. Um, there's a Larvesta and a Regice. And coming down to the last four packs. We 
we've got ourselves an uh, energy recycler and a metagross. And next up we have a dangerous energy reverse and a Registeel. It's going straight into my Rayquaza deck. <laughs> Hopefully you guys have seen that as well. Profile of Rayquaza with the new Hooper involved as well. Um, second to last pack we have a reverse Ariados. That's a nice one to pick up. And a Porygon Z. And let's see if we can't end with something shiny. Wasn't really keeping track of what hollows we've pulled so far. But it looks like we have got something shiny. Oh man, we've got another EX, I think. Let's take this one slowly. We have a reverse cottony and a Tyranitar EX. Fantastic. So that makes seven EXs for the box. That is pretty spectacular. Unless my math is terrible. Two, four, six, seven. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. Really, really nice. Great way to finish off the box. So let me um, grab the other hollows that I pulled um, just to show you the pull rates, as we all know. I think it is uh, pretty set in stone that you get, get 12 in every box, uh, these days at least. So um, let me just grab those holographics that I sleeved up earlier on. And here we go. So we have ourselves a Verizian holographic and Entei I think this card is actually fairly playable something that people should at least um, conceptualize and think about Gardevoir which looks pretty but nothing else uh, Gyarados plenty of potential but um, just not in the right format for it right now um, Gyarado, uh, Gudra sorry and then onto EX is that T uh, the Tyranitar EX that we just pulled a full art Machamp uh, Hooper EX, Mega Sceptile, which is looking amazing as well. That uh, Full Art Giratina EX, the Half Art Giratina, as well as that uh, Kiram EX that we got very early on in the box. So um, that's been my opening, guys. Expect to get six or seven EXs as I just did. Uh, we weren't able to get anything gold, but we did get that um, awesome looking Rayquaza in the first uh, box that unfortunately cut out on me. So um, expect to see um, all these codes go onto PTCGO and I'm going to start profiling decks on there. So hope you guys enjoy the video guys and let me leave you with a little parting gift for staying to the end. Well done to you guys. You have earned yourself a free booster code as well. So that is all from me guys. It's been Joe from Omnipoke and I will see you guys next time.